Well met lords and ladies, Jacob Butter speaking and a warm warm welcome to this week's Walking Wednesday. I've just realised that I've gone down a path that is going to lead me slightly downhill. But, oh well. Does not matter, for that is uh, the complete opposite to how I feel about life at the moment. Things are looking very uphill. Very uphill indeed. As is this path, actually, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Okay. Uh, anyways. So, um, I think uh, people would be very interested to, uh, you know, you've, uh, you've seen the title. I believe that you were, of course, going to ask me about the, uh, the thing that is mentioned in said title. Which is, you know, of course... The fact that I've chosen the PE kit in the Mutant Girl movie, which is not like a movie. Nah, I'm kidding, that's not what's not what. I'll get to that in a second. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna actually fill you in on the proper details right in the moment. So I don't do what Aphmal did for Phoenix Job High Season 2 and just constantly <laughs> put out titles where there's one scene featured in it that is actually relevant. <laughs> so yeah. Um, without further ado, of course, I hereby announce that the YouTube sensation Monation and myself are back together. Just, uh, give me a second. Yes! Okay, there we go. Been uh, holding that in for a while now, actually. I haven't, uh, had really a proper chance. <laughs> ah, the remote forest. Anyways. So yeah, um, people are probably going to be a bit confused about that just uh, just because um, I spoke with such finality um, only a couple of weeks ago, really. You know, after it happened on the Monday, and uh, I was reporting on it by the Wednesday. And um, yeah, so at first I was kind of the same because um, obviously, like in my head, you know, because of the state that I was in, I was going way over, you know, my solution whenever there's like, you know, when my first thought whenever there's a, a problem that one encounters is, okay, how can this be dealt with? Can it be dealt with? So, yeah, needless to say, when the breakup actually occurred, that's what was going through my head, basically. It's like, you know, say anything right now. You're losing her. Say anything. And, um, and yeah, uh, Obviously, that didn't pan out the way that I thought, but it never does. I've been in that situation a collective, um, what was it, five times now, I think? Yeah, five. Five times. That's, that's what's happened. Um, no, six. Wait a minute. No. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, six times. Jeez. I have, uh, I've had the worst luck sometimes. Okay, anyway, point is, um, yeah, yeah uh, I, I knew that it was a doomed, it was a doomed, uh, I was gonna say doomed affair, but that's not really the appropriate term in this case. Anyways, um, so, yeah, of course, you know, for the, for the few weeks or so that I was, uh, I was going through, of course, I was, in magic situation in my head, you know, I actually just, you know, I fantasize about the idea of suddenly, you know, me, uh, uh, her acknowledging that, you know, breaking up was, was a mistake for X amount of reasons. And, and, uh, you know, eventually with a pair of us actually getting back together. And I did nothing to cause the, uh, the change of events, I don't think, anyway, except for possibly that Walking Wednesday where I sent the the director's cut of it over to her. Um, but yeah, other than that, it came completely out of the blue. I'm not used to the stuff that I imagine in my head coming true in pretty much the same fashion as they were um, as as they were depicted. I mean, it was. It was somewhat uncanny, actually. So, in my mind, I was thinking, this is too good to be true. I mean, 
Like what? How did, how? Cause yeah, you know, normally when I've been through breakups and stuff, I've been, uh, I've been an internal mess for months on end. And you know, eventually I end up just pushing the ideas of romance into the back of my head. Um, end up considering the idea several times and then, but uh, never actually acting upon it until suddenly, until suddenly something happens completely out of the blue, sometimes years down the line. It's very bizarre actually, the way that that worked out for me, but yeah. Um, I don't know. It's just, it's just, it's one of the, it's one of those things where there's, there's so much you can read into it, but you know, what's the point? Because ultimately it happened and we are both much happier for it, which is all that I was really trying to say anyway, initially. Uh, there was a little bit more of a complication to it, but I'm only talking about this, um, this side from, you know, my perspective this time, just because, I mean, I know what happened on her side, but obviously, yeah, not gonna, not gonna say that. I mean, I was gonna say that, you know, she could announce that if she wants, but she's not going to. She's not really one for doing updates like this. But yeah, I used to say that that particular updates that I did, you know, the stuff I said at the end of that still stands as far as um, as far as me wanting to communicate this stuff to people, because it's it's really I think it's really healthy to be able to essentially just you know talk your feelings out. Usually, there's like there's like a whole movement over here actually that's still going on. It's less advertised now, but it's still, it's still the case. If you're in the UK, you've probably heard of Time to Change, which is basically the movement that says, you know, one, one in four of us uh, suffer from mental health issues. I'm not saying that I do in this case, I'm just saying that it's what they specialize in. And they say, oh, we don't need to be a licensed therapist, have a conversation. Having a conversation about this stuff really can help. So, just bearing that in mind, the fact that, I mean, the fact that there are people out there that are, you know, willing to, willing to listen to, to hear me out, of course I'm going to tell you all, well, not necessarily what you want to hear, but something from the mouth you want to hear from, basically. Because obviously what you want to hear is, you know, I'm doing, I'm doing great, everything is great, and that is the case this week, but... I mean, people who have uh, watched, more, uh, you know, several Walking Wednesdays for an extended period of time, um, well, first of all, what is wrong with you? There's way better content out there to consume. Um, but second of all, um, you know that that's not always the case. I end up, I end up, you know, just pouring out my heart and soul. And again, that's that's very healthy. I mean, I know that. I know that a lot of people, of course, I'm sorry, there's a dog coming this way, so I'm gonna change paths. Um, yeah, the real enemy of Walking Wednesday is dogs, not, uh, not my own secrecy. Um, what, was I, what was I getting at? Oh yeah, I know that a lot of people are much more private about, about their own life, and yes, of course, you know, you've, uh, you've got every right to be, of course. You know, everyone falls at their own pace. But honestly, it doesn't have to be something on this on this grander scale for, for everyone. I mean, I, I just do this because, you know, I want to want to keep, you, keep everyone updated because there are people that I know are interested in hearing about me and also an excuse to get outside at least once a week and do some exercise. That's another important thing. Um, okay, this path has no dogs. But yeah, you know, it could just be a, a friend or something. And granted, you know, when the breakup actually happened, um, this is something that I haven't properly mentioned yet, but um, several people actually actually reached out to both of us 
to see how we were doing. Um, and actually, you know, I ended up, I ended up confirming that because I knew that some people said they were going to uh, speak to Monet about it, but Monet herself confirmed that, that was, that's what happened. And I didn't ask anyone to do that and go check up on her. As far as I'm aware, she didn't ask anyone to check up on me. Um, but people did anyway. I mean, I notified a few people on Discord regardless, so they said, oh, if I need to talk, then, you know, there they were. So again, people that are willing to listen. And that just shows, you know, how much you guys actually care about both of us. Not only the fact that you're willing to actually sit through, you know, 20 minutes on average of the, there was a tree there, of content from all of us, but you actually, actually respond to it. Because I know that there are some people who have just who just who go, um, oh, what is your, what is the, what is in reference to this? What's the title in reference to right now? What's Walking Wednesday talking about? I don't want to sit through the actual video to discuss it. And I say, well, that's kind of the point, really, is that you can you can figure it out as uh, as I as I say things. I know that Walking Wednesday is not the most visually interesting thing, but for me, I guess the best way of probably watching these videos uh, is putting them on in the background. Kind of like what-ifs in a way, actually. With, um, with Master Go X's content in particular, I, I, tend to, I tend to leave the video playing and I'll usually be doing something maybe gacha related or, I don't know, just... Uh... Actually, no, it is mostly gacha related that I do that stuff in because I need something that... Or, or I'm playing um, I'm playing a game, I don't know. Got back into Spore recently thanks to BB not really delivering on a video on that regard. Um, but yeah, I think if you just play the stuff in the background and just, you know, hear stuff going on, it's not like you're gonna you're gonna miss out on some grand journey or something. I mean by all means you can behold the uh, the wonderful English slash Spanish countryside on occasion every like 100 episodes. Sometimes the light is so bright that you can't even see there's a bunch of sheep here behind me. I mean, you just heard one in the background, but that's it. That was, oh, I thought that was a human there, I'm trying to imitate the sound. But no, they are, they're right there. Look, there you go, somewhere. <laughs> uh. So yeah. That's, uh, that's really it, you know, not everyone's always going to be interested in everything that I have to say, but yeah, I don't know, that's, that, that's, my, that's my preferred method. But basically, even people say, who check out the title to that notification, they're still reaching out. And yeah, with, with, my, with my family, actually, um, it's been way better. For me to um for me to be able to again update everyone of what's going on and um and then sometimes when they'll when they'll ask when they'll ask specifics about the week or something they'll say oh we've watched your walking wednesday could you tell us more about this thing and that's individuals different people <laughs> so it's great for getting everyone up to date but it's also great uh, to steer off boredom of repetition so yeah uh if that's uh that kind of sounds like you maybe uh maybe a walking wednesday style format might actually be up your alley i don't know possibly uh okay so that's that so but basically what i'm trying to say is thanks everyone for actually checking up on us and uh we are much more okay now than either of us thought we would be by this point so yeah it all it all worked out and by by pure miracle, but it did. So yeah, um, that's the big thing. Now back to what I was saying before about the Music Girl movie. Again, I'm still adamant that we're gonna we're gonna split the content into um, into the uh, episode into um, season three, the new episodes one and two, because they 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 kickstart the movie kickstart season three anyway. It will probably would have been left out of playlists. There's more dogs coming this way now, and I can't move away from the path, so I'm just going to have to um, 
it's just slope up towards the hill, I think. Um, but yeah. I do in fact acknowledge that that's, uh, that, that, is, uh, that is the case. No. <laughs> okay. Side note, from the front, Stanley looks like the, that vegan teacher. It's not her, different accent, but still. <laughs> and her dogs look alive. Um, right, well, um, where was I, what was I getting at? Um, I was getting at... That I was getting at the road, and the road is distracting me. Okay, good. So, um, more up, more updates. Um, yeah. So I, I've um, decided on that on that P gig. So what happened is that on the community server, I said, okay, I need background characters for, um, for a PE class because I'm working on one of the scenes that actually um, involves them uh, them playing some dodgeball. And uh, of course, you need people actually playing dodgeball for that whole thing to work. So I sent out a message saying, okay, well, I need someone to help you with this. And also we don't have a PE kit for the school. So I would, I need somebody who can actually um, help design that. And eventually that's what happened. Um, the little fox puppeteer actually um, came out with the with the winning design for that but i changed a couple of things because the um Olivia high school logo and school colors were already set in stone so i just made a little bit of a difference there um but yeah and there's plenty of actual um export stuff i haven't really got around to um getting at because uh aiden's actually been pulling me into calls to do with um to do with it with another season of a show that hasn't had a season one yet so, classic Aiden. <laughs> um, but yeah, he, he and I have been working on, you know, a bunch of stuff. Mostly mythology focused. I've gone back to reading Mythos by Stephen Fry, which if you don't know is the book that I got in 2018 that actually kick-started. Um, well, see, it kind of fueled, basically. It fueled my growing obsession with Greek mythology. It was a real phase when I started The Mutant Girl, you know, just four months down the line, so it um it, so, so it can you can say that it was a pretty significant influence. Uh, I've also been uh, I've also been conscripted into um, helping write for um, for the return of a series um, over on Ice Cube Studios. I will say no more about that because I'm not sure what public what information was meant to go out to the public yet about that. But I think, considering that I started that yesterday, um, my contribution has uh, has been has been valuable, I believe. Um, I mean, Polis only thinks so. Either way, um, there's the the other thing that I need to do is have a conversation with Blackjack because there was some talks around some original music going into the Mutant Girl again. Still referencing it as a movie. I need to change the marketing of it, but. People will realize slowly but surely the fact that, yeah, this is not going to be um, a movie anymore. If anything, the music girl goes to high school could actually sort of be the season subtitle. You know how, like, My Street has different, um, you know, as has Love, Love Paradise, Lover's Lane, Emerald Secret, Starlight, and When Angels Fall in that order. Um, something along those lines, I was thinking. That could potentially. That could potentially work, but I mean. That would that would be too I think that'd be too long a title to put in um to put on YouTube, but I will cross that hurdle once I reach it. Because yeah. That's gonna be a while. But yeah, I had to have that conversation because I didn't have it yesterday. Again, Ice Cube and also stream and I don't know, a bunch of stuff. Speaking of streams, um I guess one thing that um they helped actually. I've got to give a special thanks to Curse Pikachu, who actually came in, noticed that I was still, I was still sad during the Pride Month stream, 
um, considering how I'm used to, you know, hiding that stuff as an actor. Um, yeah, very, very well done for for ascertaining that. But yes, either way, that that um, that pride stream, it was actually it was, it was actually way better than I thought it was going to be because again, there was there were a lot of people. I think at one point we had a peak concurrent viewership of nine people, which is this is you know. That was more than the average five years later stream when it was still on YouTube. So yeah, I kind of feel like if it's, I guess I, I guess the Garch Racer streams do draw in uh, more people that aren't necessarily Aftermath fans. But I've kind of all conscripted them into being Gotcha fans now, so that's uh, that's a that's quite a telling sign. Uh, you start off as an Aftermath fan, then you drift off to Gotcha. That is uh, the circle of, of life, apparently. But yeah, so those, I'm still editing the videos to put them on, to put them as separate reviews on Gotcha Review. I will get around to doing that. But yeah, either way, um, I'm gonna run out of space soon. I don't think there's anything else ready to update that's, um, that's uh, too pleasant. Everyone uh, in the family, by the way, uh, we're all safe. Not all of us are doing the best, but I think the people who know what's been going on know already. Um, my brother's been doing a bit, having a great recovery, by the way. That's that I will say. I'll say that much. But yeah, I think I'm going to leave it here. So uh, yeah, once again, I am happy, and I can say that on that day, I had not smiled that much in actual weeks. My jaw hurts by the end. So on the day that everything got fixed, you know. So did my emotional state. So anyway, please leave a like or dislike because your opinion matters and subscribe if you haven't already. And on that note, until next time, farewell.